Jeopardy! is getting called out by some fans on Twitter for a final clue deemed way too easy. During Tuesday's episode, guest host Dr. Sanjay Gupta delivered the controversial clue for the final Jeopardy! round, in which contestants wager a portion of their earnings and write down their answers. The clue was, in 2019, this public university attempted to trademark the word the for use on clothing and hats. The answer? The Ohio State University, which drew widespread media coverage for its attempt to trademark one of the most common words in the English language in August 2019. All three contestants gave the correct answer, but Portland Community College History instructor Courtney Shaw ended up the winner, with a daily total of $21,600 and a seven-day total of $118,558. For some fans of Jeopardy!, the clue's answer was too obvious for the usually challenging trivia show. Final Jeopardy was too easy, wrote a KJ Mears chart. That was the easiest final at Jeopardy question ever, wrote at Patrick Cobb. What a ridiculously easy question, wrote at web underscore fawn. Final hashtag Jeopardy was super easy this evening, wrote at No Tire Mom 2020. The user at Nanea 221128822 said they knew it instantly, they noted the answer may not have been obvious to everyone. On the dream job, Biggest Challenge, Alex Trebek's Legacy My mom however didn't have a clue as did millions of others that don't follow college sports, the user wrote. It was one of the easier Final Jeopardy questions, but sometimes it's like that. One Twitter user pointed out that the final Jeopardy! question and answer may have been awkward for Gupta, who graduated from the University of Michigan, a longtime rival of the Ohio State University. In a tweet Wednesday, the CNN chief medical correspondent admitted reading the clue proved challenging. I won't lie, I kept a straight face, but last night's final at Jeopardy! was a tough one for me to read out loud. He wrote, adding hashtag Gablu. From Dr. Sanjay Gupta to Savannah Guthrie. Contributing, Chris Pugh, The Columbus Dispatch.